uh, the thing about uh, surgery as opposed to um, a car accident or or being tortured or something uh, is that you can prepare for it. And um, it, even uh, standard medical sources are now uh, saying that you should check uh, thyroid function before you uh, schedule someone for surgery because a hypothyroid person uh, doesn't do well in surgery because their cortisol is already high. Um, the, uh, before Hans Selye made stress famous, uh, an American surgeon, uh, George Kreil in Cleveland, uh, 100, over 100 years ago, was studying uh, shock from surgery and what you had to do to minimize uh, the shock. And uh, 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 shock, as he understood it, uh, came to be part of, of uh, shock and stress, as Hans Selye interpreted it. And uh, for Selye, uh, an excess of estrogen was enough to uh, create the whole shock syndrome. And uh, George Kreil, uh, in, in the hospital in Cleveland that he worked at, in 1908, the mortality rate from all their surgeries was 4.4%. Uh, uh, and after he devised a way to reduce stress, uh, in five years of application, it had cut the mortality to 1.8%. Uh, and uh, his basic procedure was to uh, convince the brain that nothing had happened. He called it anosy association, um, meaning uh, getting the, uh, the brain to uh, uh, not notice the, the noxious events. And uh, he found that histamine was uh, released by morphine uh, when it was used to control pain, that histamine uh, brought on uh, all of these uh, other stress hormone changes. So he added uh, an antihistamine, an herbal uh, drug called scopolamine, basically an, an antihistamine, anti-stress uh, preparation to go with the anesthesia. And then he used a, a local anesthetic uh, to uh, stop. First he would anesthetize the skin, then uh, as the skin was cut, each layer would get a local anesthetic so that uh, he was not letting the brain receive any of those harmful signals. But um, a careless, quick uh, surgery nowadays often is very rough, and uh, uh, the patient wakes up with uh, changes in the brain from that powerful, noxious stimulation of the surgery. And uh, so if you can get the doctor to uh, reduce the trauma of the surgery, uh, that's a very important part of recovering. And uh, like the hypothyroid person uh, doesn't uh, recover very well because their metabolic rate is slow, their temperature is also very low. And uh, since the surgery uh, turning on the... Uh, the stress hormones, turns off the thyroid function, temperature tends to drop drastically during and following surgery. And in proportion to how the temperature falls, the um, person's recovery is impaired. So everything that will keep your, your temperature up during and after surgery, uh, preparing with uh, uh, at least two weeks of uh, adjusting thyroid so that you're not hypothyroid, uh, that makes the recovery a lot faster.